So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to start a new series. It's going to be called The Fish Lounge. It's not bike related. There may be some bike stuff involved, but it's just us getting together, having a chinwag, having a laugh, telling some stories, just hanging out basically. That's the aim of this. We're going to take it a little bit left field from motorcycling only. Although this channel is predominantly motorcycling, that's not what I set it up for. I set it up for me to have a laugh, to just enjoy myself and have some fun. And that's what this is, the Fish Lounge. We're gonna tell some stories, and I'm also gonna ask you guys to drop some stories downstairs in the comments section, drop some questions, don't make them bike related. You can if you want, if they're funny, but let's just have some life stuff. That's what this is, it's basically a life vlog but we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. So stick around for this. This is The Fish Lounge, episode one. Right, so welcome back. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you for sticking around. Now, today's episode is about weddings and dating apps. That's right, it's in the title. You read it, you know what it is. Now, all people have been talking to me about is the wedding my daughter's wedding. So we're going to address a few things of that first. I'm going to tell you something about that. Nothing that hasn't been said over on their channel has been cleared with everyone. It's common knowledge, but there's some little insights from myself about the wedding. And uh, yeah, we'll go with that. And then we move on to, yeah, I've joined a dating app. It's not as smooth as you think it is, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Let's start with the wedding. My daughter, Talia, she got married beginning of the month. Oh my God, what an event. It was absolutely amazing. Pure fairy tale wedding. I can't say more than that, but welcome to the family, Simon. You know I love you. You're one of us now. <laughs> Dangerous times. I had an absolutely brilliant weekend, probably one of the best weekends I've ever had in my life. And it just happens to be Talia's wedding. And it's just because those two are two very special people in my life, Simon and Talia. And now they're married and that is absolutely fantastic. If ever there was two soulmates, it's those two. So basically the first thing is when I was stepping up to walk Talia down the aisle, I walked up the stairs to the room she was in and the photographer had framed her for a magical picture. So when I walked in the room, she was just standing there framed by this chandelier, this old Italian villa. The lighting was perfect. She looked like an absolute princess. And I've got to say, I teared up. And she looked me in the eyes and she started to tear up. And we said to each other, not the eyes, don't look in the eyes, don't look in the eyes. And we ended up looking at the floor because yeah, we were both tearing up. It was an absolute magical moment and an absolute honor to walk my beautiful girl down the aisle. It was special, really, really special. When I did walk her down the aisle, I'd said to Simon, at the end, I would give him a hug. And we agreed on this. But when we got down to the altar, there was a slight problem. I was on Talia's right and her dress was so big that I couldn't get round it. The only way I could get round it would be to climb over two chairs to give Simon a hug. And I didn't want to risk that because I knew what would happen. I would have gone arse over tip. It would have been very amusing, but I didn't really want to do that. So I kind of looked at Simon, he looked at me, he thought I was blanking him. I wasn't, I apologized after, it's all clear now. He didn't really think I was blanking him, he just didn't know what was going on. I was trying to explain to him, I can't get round the dress, I can't get round the dress. But we didn't hug, but I hugged him later, so it's all good. Now on to the speeches, and uh, there were three speeches. There was myself, KSI, and Randolph. We agreed to do them in the morning. While we were getting ready, we were up in Josh's room. I said I wanted to say a few words, or I was gonna say a few words. I had a few things in my head, didn't know how it was gonna pan out, didn't know what I was gonna say, but roughly kind of had a few things that I wanted to get off my chest. No, that sounds bad, not off my chest, that I wanted to say. They're all nice things, but I wanted to say them. And then KSI said, yeah, he's gonna say something. And I know Simon said to me that Randolph wanted to say something, or he thought Randolph wanted to say something. And it was true, Randolph did wanna say something. So they were the speeches. I'm not gonna tell you what was in the speeches, but if you look at their videos, their podcasts, that they're debating about who had the better speech. And I just wanna clear that up now about who had the best speech. Was it KSI or was it Randolph? And the truth is, it was me. I had the best speech. Hands down, no competition. Basically, that's just the facts of the afternoon. I can't help it, it's just the way it went down. 
And while we're here, I want to address a few things that were said on Twitter about Simon and the boys wearing dunks. They had Nike dunks on with their suits. And personally, I think they looked absolutely spectacular. Now, people have been hating on this, but here's the thing. If it's your wedding, you can do what you want. When it got to the evening and it was pure dancing and there was a lot of dancing, I mean, they could have hugged Simon all night for the comfort that their feet felt. Imagine dancing all night in a pair of dodgy shoes. No, they had dunks. Very smart move. And I'll tell you why I'm backing that. Father of the bride, did I wear dunks? No, didn't. I had a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. These ones here, spectacular. So if you're complaining about the dunks, you're complaining about these as well. And if you're complaining about either of those, then there's something wrong with you. It wasn't your wedding. So I hope that clears up about the wedding. As I said, nothing new there, nothing enlightenment. I haven't dropped any bombshells. I just wanted to say a few things because a lot of people have been DMing me and asking me about the wedding. But all in all, it's for Simon and Talia to tell you. They're gonna have some stuff out, I'm sure. The photographs are gonna come back. The videos are gonna come back. They haven't decided what they're gonna do and how much they're gonna share. And I am in no place to overrule that. They are an absolutely lovely couple and I wish them the best. They are well suited together and they are truly soulmates. That's all I can say. And I'm the father of the bride. I should hate the groom, but I don't. I love you, Simon. Right, so now we've got that out of the way, let's talk about dating. Yes, that's right. Your boy is single and your boy is on a dating app. I'm not going to tell you which one because you're going to go and stalk me. But yeah, it's an eye opener. It's a little bit different. I've tried dating people I've known. That hasn't worked out for one reason or another. Not good, not bad, it's just the way it goes. Sometimes things just don't work out. You've got to accept it. You've got to take the memories, the good ones, and cherish them. You've got to take the bad ones, learn from them, and move on. That's how it works. So, I've been single for a little while, and people have convinced me to go on dating apps. So, last week, I did it. I signed up. Wow. That's a minefield. Now let me start by saying it was very, very good for the ego. I've got to admit, it made me feel good. I had over 300 likes. That's right, 300 likes. My ego was flying. Well, it was going well. My ego was flying until someone at work pointed out that some people on these dating apps have swipe quotas. So they swipe a certain amount every day, no matter what you look like. I mean, that's an ego killer. Thanks for telling me that. And here's another thing I found strange, people's photos. I mean, by law, they should be from at least the last year. Some of these people have photos dating back probably 20 years. They're pixelated. They're pictures of pictures. In other words, they're digital pictures of an old photograph and they're trying to convince you that that's them. We're not convinced. It doesn't work like that. It's really bizarre. If you've got old photos and lots of them, swipe left. And also lots of Photoshop photos, lots of filters. I mean, some of the filters are so bad. I mean, they look terrible. There's even a few on there using that AI app. So basically turning them into a cartoon. Now who's gonna swipe on a cartoon? You might as well put up Minnie Mouse. And here's another thing. Someone has told someone that this, taking a photo like this, I'm using my GoPro, not a camera from a slight angle up here is the best angle. And I agree, it probably is the best angle, but some people take it to the extreme. Their arms are so far away and they're so far up in the air, you can basically only see the top of their head or their forehead. I mean, if you've got a forehead fetish, then yes, you're gonna swipe on that. But if you haven't got a forehead fetish, you're probably not gonna swipe the right way, are you? No, think about it. Look at your pictures and take them properly. I've got to say, all my pictures were from the last probably six months. I had one with a hat on, one with a hat off, so people know I've shaved my head. I've got glasses on, I've got glasses off, so they know I sometimes wear glasses. And I've also got tattoos in the picture. So people can't really complain. There's no shocks with me. I tell the truth, and that's what you should do. Tell the truth. Put your age on there, put your height on there, put your weight on there. Don't catfish people. Be nice, be kind, be yourselves. But there are some strange things that have happened on this dating app. I've had some very, very strange messages. I'm gonna just share two with you. There's more, there is more, but this is just two from last weekend. On a Saturday, I got a message. No, hi, how are you? You enjoying the weather? No, 
None of that, just a street. Hey, what are you doing this evening? I'm gonna ruin you. What? That's right, I'm gonna ruin you. I mean, I didn't know how to respond to that. I mean, little did she know, I'm pretty much ruined anyway. I didn't know whether she meant mentally or physically, but that was a message, I want to ruin you. Whatever that means, but that is not the strangest one. The strangest one was the night after. Speaking to a lovely lady, very pretty. We went through the pleasantries. Hey, how are you? Enjoying the weather? You having a good time? What'd you do for a living? What'd you do for a laugh? What music do you like? And then bam, she dropped one. What did she drop? Are you into pegging? That's what she actually typed. Are you into pegging? That's a bold move. That is a bold move. If you don't know what pegging is, then Google it. But I would suggest you don't do it on your work computer and definitely don't do it on your kid's laptop. Don't do it. But that's what she typed. Are you into pegging? Now I wasn't sure if she meant hanging out the washing, but I'm guessing she didn't. So first night, the woman wanted to ruin me. The next night, are you into pegging? Wow, that's an opening weekend on a dating app. But I've got to say, it's probably the best weekend I've ever had. And on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to drop your stories, your comments, or anything you want to ask downstairs in the comment section. We're going to do this about once a month. This is the Fish Lounge. I'm Mr. Fish. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. Also, hit that notification bell so you guys can get the drop on these videos. I shall see you on the next one. You know I love you all. Stay safe. Fish out. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, get gone. gone. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get gone.